Hey guys films recapped here. Today I'm gonna explain a horror thriller movie called Saw 3. Watch out. Spoilers ahead. Following the ending of Saw 2, Detective Eric Matthews is trapped in the dilapidated bathroom after having been chained to a pipe by Amanda Young. Eric tries to reach for his gun. When he does, he sees there are no bullets in it. After reaching for his flashlight, he sees everywhere in the bathroom and finds a hacksaw and he realizes that he has to cut his feet with it. When not being to do it he manages to free himself from his shackle by breaking his foot with the lid of a toilet tank. Six months later, Lt. Daniel Rigg and the detectives Allison Carey and Mark Hoffman find another victim of the Jigsaw Killers in a trap set up at an elementary school. The victim, a repeat offender named Troy, had to rip out several chains pierced through various parts of his body in order to escape a nail bomb. However, the trap was actually inescapable as the door of the room had been welded shut, leading Carrie to the assumption that someone else other than John Kramer was responsible for Troy's death. She watches a videotape of the game and is abducted by an unknown person. Carrie wakes to find a harness hooked into her ribs. She figures out that she needs to retrieve a key from a beaker of acid to unlock the harness. However, even though she manages to obtain the key in time, her trap has been manipulated as well and she's subsequently killed by the trap as it tears her ribcage apart. Next, we see Dr. Lynn arguing with her husband and she leaves for hospital. Shortly afterwards, Amanda Young abducts the surgeon Dr. Lyndon Lynn and takes her to her and John Kramer's hideout in an abandoned meatpacking plant. John, who has become bedridden due to his cancer, gives her an ultimatum and forces her to keep him alive until another victim manages to pass a series of tests. To make sure she follows his orders, Amanda locks a collar around her neck, which is connected to John's heart monitor and will detonate if he dies or Lynn moves out of range. Amanda doesn't know that the next victim playing Jigsaw's game is Lynn's husband. Meanwhile, the other victim, Jeff, wakes up inside a crate somewhere else inside the plant. Jeff is tested as he has lost his son, Dylan, in a car accident three years earlier, and has become obsessed with his feelings of vengeance against the people he deemed responsible. An audio tape informs him that he'll have to undergo several tests, which will ultimately lead him to the man responsible for the loss of his child. In his first test, Jeff finds a naked woman, Danica Scott, who has been chained up in a freezer room. Danica was the only witness of his son's death, but had refused to testify against the drunk driver, resulting in the latter only receiving a light sentence. At regular intervals, her body is sprayed with ice-cold water, which quickly freezes due to the low temperature. Jeff can either let her die or save her by obtaining a key from behind several frozen metal bars. Eventually, Danica manages to convince him to help her. However, even though he manages to obtain the key, Danica has already frozen to death when he tries to unlock her chains. In his second test, Jeff encounters Halden, the judge who presided over the case of Dylan's death. He is chained to the bottom of a large pig bat, which slowly fills with liquefied pig intestines. Again, Jeff has the choice to let him die or to retrieve the key to Halden's shackle by burning all of his son's possessions in an incinerator. After some initial hesitation, Jeff ultimately activates the incinerator and saves the judge with the key. Eventually, Jeff and Halden reach the room of Jeff's third test, where they find the drunk driver, Timothy Young, who is strapped to a device that will slowly twist his limbs and his head. Despite his hatred and his desire for vengeance, Jeff tries to save Timothy as well and retrieves the key, which is connected to the trigger of a shotgun. However, as he does, Halden, who accidentally walked into the line of fire, is killed by a shot. Jeff tries to deactivate Timothy's trap, but is too late to save him and watches as the trap breaks Timothy's neck. Back at Jigsaw bedside, Lynn performs an emergency surgery to relieve the increased pressure on Kramer brain. She uses a standard ordinary drill to perform the unsanitary surgery. Amanda watches and begins to grow jealous of the interactions between Lynn and Kramer. However, when Kramer begins to have a seizure, Amanda helps Lynn. This declaration upsets the unstable Amanda and she leaves the room. Jealous of Lynn and distressed by John's impending death, Amanda cuts herself in order to deal with her emotions. Several flashbacks show how she became John's apprentice after surviving one of his games prior to the first film. Thereby, it is also revealed that she assisted him in setting up the game in the bathroom of the first film and later returned to kill Adam Stanhai. In the present timeline, Amanda finds a letter in her desk, which distresses her even more. When she eventually returns to John and Lynn to tell them that Jeff had finished his third test, John tells her to free Lynn from her collar. However, Amanda refuses to do so and holds her at gunpoint. While John tries to calm her down and attempts to convince her to let Lynn go, Amanda confesses that she doesn't believe in John's philosophy. Thereby, she also reveals that she had manipulated the traps of Troy and Carrie and also left Eric Matthews for dead after the two of them had engaged in a brutal fight after his escape from the bathroom. Despite John's warnings that her life was depending on Lynn, Amanda shoots her in the back, just as Jeff enters the room. It is then revealed to Amanda that Lynn and Jeff were actually husband and wife, who is subsequently shot by Jeff with a gun provided by John during his tests. 
As Amanda succumbs to her wounds, John reveals that Lynn's test to keep someone alive was actually meant for Amanda as well, as he had already known of her manipulated games, which gave her victims no chance to survive. Following Amanda's death, Jeff aims his gun at John and tries to shoot him. However, he has no bullets left in the gun. John manages to calm him down and promises to call an ambulance for Lynn in exchange for one final test. Jeff can either forgive him for the pain he had caused him and his wife or he can kill him. Although Jeff tells John that he forgives him, he then picks up a buzz saw slashes his throat. Subsequently, the door of the room automatically slams shut behind him and John pulls out a tape recorder, and, with his remaining strength, plays it. The tape informs Jeff that he failed his test by killing John and reveals that his daughter, Corbett, has been abducted as well, with John being the only person to know about her whereabouts. In order to save her before she runs out of air, Jeff has to play another game. The tape ends as John dies from his injuries and Lynn's collar promptly detonates and kills her, leaving Jeff trapped in the sickroom. Thanks for watching and like and subscribe to watch more videos like this.